Hollenquist here. Today I'll be reading Bat vs. Poss. I hope you enjoy it. Meek the Poss and her sisters three lived in a sprawling paper bark tree that grew by a tumble down terrace row. They danced in moonlight and slept down below. Then one night something dropped with a growl and a squeak and plopped into the tree with a yowl and a shriek. What could it be? They crept up to see. A big fruit back draped from the top of their tree. He rose and extended his claws with a crack. When he gave a loud bleach, the girls shuffled back. I'm Squabbles the Bat, he said with a grin. You can push off, cause I'm moving in. So Meek took her girls to the and cramped lower spaces and wiped all the tears from their sad little faces. The night was not fun, they were too scared to move. Squabbles spat and shrieked and he burped and he pooed. Koala and magpie flapped over unstrung. They lived down the tree above Bluey the tongue. You've got to get rid of the tiresome freak. You're bigger than us. Be firm with him, Meek. Um, sir, since we're hearing you all over town, perhaps tonight you might try keeping it down. The bat winked an eye and suddenly spat, and Meek tumbled down with a bump, thump, clump, splat. Bluey the Tongue called a neighbourhood meeting, while Squabble slept high above, snorting and bleating. We might as well leave, a minor crop bird cried. No one can deal with that crazy bat guy. Meek gazed over the arguing throng, and a, pl and a plan hit her suddenly, sharply and strong. I've got it, she said, with her eyes are aglow. When I give the signal, be ready to go. The evening had fallen, the moon was a sail. Me climbed on the red bin and wagged her tail. Come down and get me, you big flying toad. Squabbles looked like his whole head would explode. I'll make a fur coat for you, festering rash. He swooped down to catch her and fell in the trash. Meek whistled and heard a rustling din as into the tree many creatures climbed in. Then Squabbles looked up and saw with surprise the dozens of furious glistering eyes. Lizards and possums, birds fluffy and trim, insect and reptiles all glaring at him. Meek scampered up and stood high in the tree we're kicking you out. Find another home, see? Squabble's lip wobbled. He tucked up his wings and started to hobble across the waste bins. But Meek, does, doesn't everyone get second chances? The little poss piped up, drawing shamed glances. Meek hugged her sister, then called through the air. You're welcome to stay if you're willing to share. Now Meek the Poss and his sisters three still lived in that sprawling paperback tree with koala and magpies and squabbles the bat. They mostly get on with an occasional Norse bats. But Squabble now shares uh, and tries not to brawl when the moon's out if his joy roads back to all. Thanks everyone.